You are with the Break Leggers and we are in London at the Dominion Theatre, courtesy of theatrepeople.com to see the brand new musical, An American in Paris. So stay tuned to find out how many legs. Whether it's break a leg or, or a leg it. <laughs> As I said, we're here courtesy of theatrepeople.com. Theatrepeople.com have a Facebook page where weekly they run a competition which you can enter to win tickets to top West End shows. We entered and we won! So why not head over to Facebook now and enter this week's competition? It could be you! So, An American in Paris, what do we know about this show? An American in Paris, well, it started in Paris before transferring over to Broadway where it opened at the Palace Theatre in April 2015. Nominated for 12 Tony Awards that year, it picked up four. Am I right in saying that this London production features members of that original Broadway cast? Why, yes you are, including Tony nominees Robert Fairchild and Leanne Pope in the lead parts. Music and lyrics by George and Ira Gershwin. This musical is based on the 1951 Oscar-winning movie of the same name. So we're interested to find out how all of that translates onto the stage here tonight. We'll, we'll catch, catch you in the interval! interval. So we've come to the interval, which means it is time for the Break Leggers 30 second interval breakdown. Go. Go! So, the story. It's 1945. An American GI stays on in Paris. Boy meets girl. In fact, the girl meets three guys and they're all after the same girl. What's going to happen next? Ooh, some beautiful performances. Um, Got to say, the star of the show so far is definitely the choreography. Yeah, the set and lighting are also really, really lovely. Yes, beautiful use of projection, lovely fluid dancing from the leads and also the entire... Um, ensemble. Whilst it's an old piece, it's actually got some really lovely modern touches, so it's nice to see it bring it into this era. We'll catch you later. So, we've come to the end of An American in Paris. How did you find that? Yeah. I absolutely loved it. I've got to say, it's not my typical first choice piece of theatre. These kind of what I consider legacy, oldie, worldy star musicals. Not really my first pick, but I am so glad that I got the opportunity to see this show. It is, if I had to pick one word to describe it, it would definitely be beautiful. It's a stunning show. It was absolutely beautiful. The choreography and the dancing was absolutely stunning. So clever as well. Um, the main character is a ballet dancer, so you have kind of three types of dance. You've got the ballet dancing that she does in part of her character being a ballet dancer. You've also got the musical numbers, because it's a musical. Also, the story is told through the medium of dance as well. She's so got these beautiful, lyrical, balletic, contemporary numbers telling the story. It felt really kind of legacy, traditional, um, kind of Ginger Rogers, very, um, you know, dry ice and beautiful dress type type musical theatre at some point but also then at others totally contemporary mm. like absolutely lots of modern techniques in the staging as well which made it feel a piece for now even though it's a piece set in 1945 written in 1951 the piece is directed and choreographed by Christopher Wielden and he has done a fantastic job here can I be a little bit bold Oh, we've got some bold coming up. I'm going to be bold. Now, this is eligible for the Olivier Awards in 2018, and I am already predicting that the Olivier Award for Best Choreography is going to go to an American Palace. So if you're a betting person, now is the time. I think it's a pretty safe bet. I might have a little flutter myself. I also wouldn't be surprised if the set gets a nod as well. It was um, The projection was beautifully choreographed to the... Uh, set changes to what's going music. on stage and the music um, a simple beautiful bare stage and as for performances Liam Cope as Liza his Liza or Lise as the French would call her absolutely phenomenal dancer proper prima ballerina material absolute such poise also Robert Fairchild as Jerry the leading man was phenomenal touches of Fred Astaire Gene Kelly all the greats are a master of what he is on stage. Absolutely, a proper triple threat. Great acting mm. choices, with lovely singing voice, mm -hmm. just beautiful ballet style moves. His choreography was a joy. So, how many legs for this piece I hear you ask? So, for An American in Paris, playing here at the Dominion Theatre London, we are going to give... 
five. An absolute resounding five. It's just a stunning, fantastic, carefree, lovely evening out. Heartwarming, delightful, and well worth a watch. Um, absolute surprise in terms of what I was expecting. So um, I sat back and enjoyed it, and I'm sure you would too. So give it a go. Absolutely. But if you're not lucky enough to win tickets to the show, as we did, head to theatrepeople.com, where they do some fantastic deals on West End shows, theatre breaks, and dinner packages. And hopefully you will enjoy An American in Paris just as we have. Tell us what you think. Like, subscribe, share, leave your comments. We are the Breaker Leggers and we'll catch you again soon. Bye!